Great. So welcome back, everyone, uh, to the after lunch session, which um, it, we're going to, since Piers is now here, <laughs> we're going to start uh, with Alexei Zvelik from uh, Brookhaven National Laboratory. He's going to talk about miracles of Conrad Heisberg locks. Please. Well, the, the first miracle is this. Uh, and probably the most important one. And I'm I, so important that I almost forgot to thank the organizers for inviting me to this excellent event and excellent place. I haven't been, been here for four years, which is really almost a wasted time of my life. Um, so I will uh, talk more about uh, Pierce after five. I, I will just uh, t tell you that uh, it's almost uh, we, we have to celebrate, me and Pierce, we have to celebrate 30 years since we met. We, we met in October 1998 in the Tbilisi, 88, yeah, 88 in Tbilisi, and spent a lot of good time here in Trieste. So the uh, you 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 who can see here, Antoine George, Andrei Rukenstein, Baskaran, even myself, and uh, we. We have been meeting in the United States as well. This is Santa Barbara, and I think this is an iconic image of Piers. I, I, I immortalized this image, putting it on the uh, T-shirt of Santa Barbara conference. And uh, for, for me, it has all the, will always be this inquiring mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, now to business. Well, I will be de de discussing a, a, one of the problems. We started with Spears a long time ago, and actually I think about 22 years ago. It's a problem of odd frequency pairing. And we, we had this idea back then that uh, order, order parameter, which is basically psi dot psi, this kind of odd frequency uh, superconduction order parameter, can be formed in, 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 in condolatuses, where localized spins coexist with conduction electrons. And we, we had a model, uh, but as we f found out <laughs> very quickly, odd frequency pairing was essentially a non-perturbative phenomenon, and I have never been satisfied with uh, how we tre treated this model. And after many, many years, I found a version of the conda, con, on the latest model where you can do everything rigorously. The, where I would claim that all steps, uh, steps taken in, in my de derivation are under control, um, all, including non, no, most importantly, non-perturbative ones. Uh, and the tra tra traditional view on the conda lattices, this is a picture taken from a review article by, uh, by, by Pierce and Andrew Nividonsky that there is a competition be between conda screening and um, um, Heisenberg exchange interaction or uh, induced RKTY interaction. And uh, 
de de depending on the degree of and what actually happens that if this interaction between the spins increases it will this or that way decouple from the co co conduction electrons so here or the screening takes over the, and 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 the local moments are kind of sucked into a, into the into the conduction band but on that side the moments is essentially the the a couple from the electrons and leave their own life they either order or it will be a spin liquid but in any in any case it's a competition b b b it in the two but the c scenario uh, uh, i'm going to the the discuss is about cooperation b b between uh, between conduction electrons and local moments and this co operation will pr produce a special type of spin liquid which I, I which is not possible to produce without without conduction electrons and this state will the state which is formed supports odd frequency pairing and odd frequency charge density wave uh, and there are many uh, remarkable features on top of this which uh, I will hope I will uh, have time to de discuss so the core of this model the, the, this model I will be de discussing is is not one dimensional but it, it is it is made of uh, kind of one dimensional from an array of coupled one dimensional wires and this feature uh, allows me to treat the most the, the strongest interactions non perturbatively so um, it is the same kind of construction people use now in uh, fractional quantum hole effect the so called wire construction so the uh, since uh, now I will try to imitate Pierce and play a pedagogical role so, so he, he has always been insistent on being pedagogical and I will explain what is going on using the cartoons so uh, the essential uh, point how to how to create this unusual spin liquid we take uh, let's take uh, one dimensional electron gas couple it to the spin one half Heisenberg chain there is an exchange interaction between the uh, be, be, be between the local moments and there is an co conda anti-ferromagnetic cond interaction between the electrons and spins so uh, imagine now that we, we have many such me, me, any such letters but they don't interact with each other what will we have we will have a two-dimensional brilliant zone and two Fermi surfaces there will be a Fermi surface of electrons and there will be a Fermi surface of spinons. For 1D spin one half Heisenberg model, this Fermi surface of spinons is an absolutely rigorous thing. The spin excitations carry spin one half and they are gapless. So you may think about it as a Fermi surface. So if the electronic Fermi surface is at different po po position in the momentum space from the spin one uh, there will be uh, uh, 
there may be only this kind of hybridization processes. So uh, this, the, the spinons from here will uh, strongly couple to uh, electronic degrees of freedom from here and vice versa. So this system will effectively be split into two independent parts. So the spectral gaps will open between this and that and this and that. Uh, now, what if you add uh, tunneling be, 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 be between the electronic chains? Well, the electron Fermi surface will be buckled and the nesting will not be perfect and we will get a uh, pockets, quasi particle pockets uh, uh, around these points. Only part of the Fermi surface will be um, uh, gapped. So this, this kind of picture. That's essentially the basic, basic mechanisms which uh, work here. But of course, there are many interesting de details uh, which are related to the specifics of strong interactions in low, in low the, 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 the dimensions. First of all, I will show you that this spin liquid paired states contains seeds of all frequency pairing. And um, as, I, as I told you about this quasi-particle quasi pockets, uh, uh, if you have su sufficiently strong interchain tunneling, the state will support a metallic state where the Fermi surface volume is not related to the electron density. As a matter of fact, in this particular model, this Fermi surface volume will be zero. The, the, there will be a complete, complete compensation between uh, particle hole symmetry. So, and there is an interesting co correlation with the ideas about this small Fermi surface states uh, with uh, the ideas of Sintil, Sajdev, and Voita, they, they claim that if such states e exist in um, more, more than one dimension, there must be fractionalized uh, excitations. And yes, the, there are fractionalized excitations here. Uh, now, um, let me go to the, from cartoons to the uh, technical D details. So oh, 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 what do we do with this Kondekheisenberg ladder? Well, actually, uh, the, oh, what I have done was b based on, uh, on my uh, relatively old work with Aron Zahar, but then we missed some important de de details in this work. So, as I said, electron band is, in, is, is incommensurate with the electrons. And in this case, uh, what happens that there cannot be backscattering between uh, spin excitations of the chain and co co conduction electrons. Only forward scattering uh, uh, is possible. And after I solve this mo uh, model, uh, I, will go, I will go further and look at the uh, array, of, uh, array of such letters. So essentially, you, you, you have to Imagine that there are uh, one-dimensional electron wires, 
о, о, анле, о, зе, азале, из каупольд спин чейнс, ан зе, к каупольд бай, со зе, ван дайменшин гоус, ан пендикио ту зе, to to the plane, and there will be interchain tunneling and interchain exchange. That's will be the ultimate ultimate model. It's a little bit a little bit similar to striped uh, striped superconductor, but here electron chains and spin chains are in the same plane, but here it will be two layers. So let's go back to the core model. So what, um, what we do, we, li we linearize the C spectrum near right and left uh, Fermi points uh, and use the bosonization the bosonization pr pr procedure. So uh, I found it more convenient to use non-abelian bosonization. The free, the Hamiltonian of the free one-dimensional electron gas can be expressed in terms of this current operators which are written here. This, this current operators satisfy the so-called cuts moody algebra. And it looks much more complicated than the um, uh, free fermions, but the advantage is that uh, increasing the co complexity on this uh, initial state, we win in win great C, C implicitly when interactions are included. That's how this bosonization always works. Uh, now, it is interesting thing that the spin one half Heisenberg model uh, can be de de described in the same language, namely the, well, spin one, as you probably know, spin one half Heisenberg model has this uh, Linear, linear spectrum excitations, right moving and late moving waves, uh, which are essentially um, domain walls between, between the c states with different orientation of the, uh, uh, of the nail order. And um, this the dynamics of these excitations can be expressed in the same way as the dynamics of the spin subsector of, of a free electron gas. So essentially, if you take electron, free electron gas, suppress the charge degrees of freedom, you will get essentially spin one half Heisenberg chain. But the, the, this is very well known. Uh, so the bosonization, therefore the bosonization for the, uh, for the Heisenberg model uh, is also in terms of the left and right currents. And spins are expressed well in this way, there is a smooth part of the spin operator and the staggered part. And now, for the electrons, there is also a smooth part of the magnetization, but the oscillating part oscillates with a different, with a different wave vector. And therefore, when we look at the conda exchange, these terms drop out. Only the conda exchange in the low energies becomes just a product of smooth parts of the magnetization. And that's 
exactly what, what, what corresponds to this cartoon I showed you B E4. So the right moving guys interact, the right moving guys interact with the left moving guys and vice versa. Only this interaction is marginally relevant. Uh, and it is this, uh, so essentially the spin sector splits in two parts where the elect right moving electron spinons interact with the left moving Heisenberg spinons and vice versa. And then we call Nathan Andrei to help us to solve this model. We look at his paper circa 1980, and here we are. That's the spectrum. Uh, so there are two hybridized gapped spinels. So th there are essentially two spin liquids, fractionalized spin liquids, both are made of electrons and spins. And therefore, in such situation, if uh, every other pa pa parameter field must include both electrons and spins. Uh, and the order, the order parameter of the Konda Heisenberg ladder looks like this. And uh, uh, you, you see, t take now one important point. Of course, it's a, so far in, in one dimension, it's not a real order. It, it, it is a slowly, slowly fluctuating field with which, which correlation functions decay as power law. In that sense, this is an, this is an order parameter. Uh, th these guys will order once I will bring this ch change to, 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 to together and arrange the in interaction. But the seeds of this order are all, already, in a, already in a one dimensional model. Now, look at it. Yeah, this, is a, this is a superconducting pairing. It's a pair is attached to this object made of, made of spins. <laughs> Essentially, it's a bound state of the electronic pair to, to, to the staggered magnetization of the Heisenberg chain and staggered energy density. What, why it is odd frequency pairing? B, B, because you, you can use the um, equation of motion for, for the uh, electron op operator. And psi, psi dot will be exactly the product of spin to psi uh, times, times the exchange, uh, exchange constant. And the, and the same with the odd frequency. Um, now, there is a very important aspect of this here, that both these orders are staggered. And the charge density wave includes, oscillates with the wave vector, which includes both conduction electrons and, and, and local ones. This is the so-called Ashikawa theorem uh, that in, in, in one dimension, Friedel oscillations must in include the wave vector of, of 
of localized and delocalized electrons. And, and that's exactly what, uh, what happens here. So th these two other parameters can be included into the single ma matrix form. Uh, and this uh, field is an SU2, SU2, SU2 matrix. Essentially, the SU2 symmetry will be will be broken when you include interactions between the electrons. When if the interactions are small, there is an approximate SU2 symmetry. This this slide just de de demonstrates how exactly you uh, arrange this. Uh, amplitudes of the other parameter, probably too technical. Now, there is a funny aspect of, of, of all this, that since the other parameters include both spins and a a electrons, this order is robust against static disorder. Be, be, because the static di, di, di disorder present um, at electron chains will not couple to this other parameter. Or, or likewise, if it is present only on the Heisenberg chain, it will not couple again. Because these guys, you see it, they, they include both electrons and spins. So they are uh, now, again, this is because chiral parts of spin operators pair with parts with opposite chirality from one dimensional electron gas. Therefore, the perturbations cannot acquire a vacuum average and thus, li thus to lift the ground state de 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 degenerates. So now, beyond 1D, so look. Well, what you do now, we uh, allow electrons to, to, to tunnel between the chains, and we also allow pins to, to, to have some kind of exchange interaction between the chains. So this, this is the interchain tunneling and interchain exchange, the most important part would be the coupling of the staggered ma ma magnetizations. And uh, this kind of exchange will be always ge generated um, uh, as soon as the, there is interchain tunneling indirectly. And uh, then there are two possibilities. If this interchain coupling is su sufficiently weak, smaller than the spin gap, then essentially uh, there are no quasi particles in the system. The only, um, the only fields which flux actuated low energies are, are collective fields of, of this of these levels. And then, in, in this case, we will uh, uh, have some superconducting or charge density wave order at sufficiently small temperatures. And above, it will be a boss metal, where the electron pa pa pairs or charge density wave excitations will, will, will tunnel between the chains. And uh, nothing else. This, oh. uh, okay, okay. Uh. So the, uh, this book, this is essentially the effective D D D Hinsburg Landau action for this uh, object, and uh, in the. In the co continuum limit, the effective action is similar to helium-3A. 
Uh, there is superconducting phase, there is charge density wave phase, and there is something which oscillates be, be between the two. The ma magnetic field, where once it suppresses, uh, when it exceeds HC1, will produce vortices, uh, and in their core, they will be charged the density wave. Just one, uh, one thing about uh, what happens if the interchain tunneling e exceeds the spin gap. What happens is the following. You, you, uh, as, as I said, there will be quasi-particle pockets, and this can, can be uh, established very well if we uh, look at the uh, non-perturbative expression for the Green's function of Conda Heisenberg uh, chain. And this Green's function, uh, well, it's essentially convoluted semions, we, we, which you, you Lou, were talking about. You, you see this? Square root, so the uh, uh, and but once you uh, allow interchain tunneling, the RPA Green's function will produce bound states of spinons and holons, which are quasi particles, and once the, uh, uh, the tunneling matrix element exceeds uh, this f threshold, you will get Fermi pockets. Uh, okay, and I think uh, I finish. So, uh, conclusions, and one may have a metallic state where Fermi surface volume is not related to the electron density. That's essentially the state Above the, above the phase transition temperature. And uh, this I did not have time to explain why, why the state is non-topologically topologically non-trivial. But.